Do we have to pretend like we know each other? Just have... <laughs> oh... What's going on guys? My name's Nick. I'm back. And this is our YouTube channel on basically everything we're gonna do for this foreseeable future. I think we'll probably kind of post a little bit of it here. Um, no. December, January, February, March, That's April, nine. May, June, Nine's July. Months. Eight months. Eight. So, eight and a half months ago, we bought um, <laughs> this van, a Sprinter van, and we completely took everything out of it. It was a passenger van. And we built it to what it is today, which is an amazing adventure vehicle that's completely self-sustainable. We have water, we have power, and we can go off-grid for, for about 10 days, I think, without running out of basically anything we need. So We will do a van tour. In the near future. haven't had spot to do one or time, no. but we will do one. So, Anyway, we hope you guys have enjoyed everything um, we've shared with you so far. If you haven't seen our channel before, please consider subscribing. Um, but anyway, we've made it quite a ways so far. Yeah, we're in Quebec right now. Um, so you saw last week we started the trek through Labrador. We are now in Quebec. We are on more dirt roads, which nobody told us about, which is fine. Um, but the plan is to go across the whole country. So we want to primarily spend our time in Alberta and BC. Um, we were supposed to live in BC last summer. We never ended up going. So we're excited to get out there this summer and see some of the things that we want to see. So we're gonna go all the way across Canada this summer. We're gonna bring you guys with us and we will see every single province before we return home to Nova Scotia. We're making a special trip for PEI. We are. Sometime, <laughs> I don't know when, whenever we're heading home. We'll just go to PEI. We're going to PEI. We'll spend a couple hours there yeah. and then we'll keep going. So we don't exactly have a time frame yet. We're still not even past Quebec, but uh, I can only assume we're going to run out of time when it comes to finding yeah. our way back. It's about a third, two thirds of the way through July. Yeah. It's about July 20 something. Yeah. 20 something. And we have to be back in Nova Scotia in September, early beginning of September. So we don't have a ton of time, but we'll make it work. All right, we'll catch you guys on the road. I missed. <laughs> Clunk and our exhaust hanger has come off. It's kind of funny because I thought about this like an hour ago. I was like, you know, when we redid the exhaust, we put these new exhaust hangers on, and I haven't even looked at them. And I was looking at the odometer today, and we've we've put about 7,500 kilometers on this since we put those on. I haven't looked, and. Uh, as soon as I heard that rattle, I knew what it was. <laughs> I knew what it was. And I crawled underneath and I was like, please, please be there. Please still be there. It fell off, but it was still just laying there. So anyway, that's totally fine. We're just going to put it back on. And uh, if it took 7,500 kilometers to fall off the first time, I'm going to go with, we're going to reach 15,000 before it falls off again. So. No. All jokes aside, we'll get that fixed eventually, but uh, for now we're just going to try to just kind of put it back in there. So, 
The only issue right now is the exhaust is about a trillion degrees. I was gonna say, it's gotta be hot. It's gonna be hot. That hanger is hot. So, we'll make it work. First things first, I gotta crawl on the ground and I don't wanna do that. <laughs> Oi, crikey, that's hot, buddy. Solved. Problems temporarily solved, yeah. Back on the road. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Um, so, we are in the van, obviously. We're currently waiting for a ferry. The hanger that fell off the exhaust yesterday we put it back on it was fine uh, we still haven't permanently fixed it we probably won't for a while but we also won't be going down any more dirt roads for at least we think we won't be going down there can't be another dirt highway for 200 <laughs> kilometers that we're gonna hit i've never driven that many miles on dirt roads so anyway we're in tadoussac right now and we have to cross the saguenay river to get to saint Catharines. um so we're just waiting for the ferry it's just like, it's a short, it's probably like a 10 minute ferry. It's it's not very big. No, it's like one where you stay in your car, you just drive on and drive off. But the alternative would be to drive up to Saguenay and then back down to St. Catharines or around that. But the drive just to Saguenay is like 120 kilometers from here. So we're just gonna take this ferry, skip a couple hundred kilometers and keep going towards Quebec City. Yeah. So it's another day of driving. We've got about 950 kilometers, I think, that we're gonna try to get out today. So, oh, it's gonna be a long day. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Becky. Um, she's just on her way to go to campus here. So we're at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, trying to upload a video currently. So anyway, Becky's gonna go try to use the Wi-Fi. I am actually going to get the tires on the van rotated. Um, if I can find the right screen here. We've put 8,000 kilometers actually 8,600 kilometers on the tires that are on the van right now. So rather than continuing to drive on the tires right now, uh, we're actually gonna get them rotated. Basically they just move like the rear tires to the front, the front to the back, and but uh, basically just allows your tires to wear better because we do still have probably another 15,000 kilometers to drive this summer. Um, so yeah, flipping the tires around now, rotating them is gonna ensure that they actually last the whole summer. Hopefully they last next summer as well. But anyway, we're doing all we can for now. Time to go to the tire shop, so let's go. All right guys, good morning. Um, last night we stayed with Becky's grandparents here. Uh, they're about 20 kilometers from Perth, Ontario. Um, it's a beautiful place that they have here. It's really special. Uh, they're right on the side of the river here, the Mississippi River. Um, thank you very much for letting us stay here last night. It's, uh, it's a really beautiful place you have here. So this morning we're gonna try to get on the road. Uh, we don't exactly know how far we're gonna get. Um, Thunder Bay was kind of our goal for the next like tonight maybe tomorrow but uh, Thunder Bay is like a 16 hour drive and I'm just we're not doing that today so I think we might make it as far as um, like near Sault Ste. Marie I believe that's about a nine hour drive from where we are right now so I think that's where we're headed we'll uh, 
See you guys on the road here in a little bit. Here we are at the Terry Fox Memorial. It's a memorial park for Terry Fox. So it has all of the, uh, all the information, the background, how Terry Fox was uh, given the, the um, Athlete of the Year Award in 81, as well as 1980. Um, anyway, it's quite amazing what this man did. He raised over $24 million during his own run for cancer and uh, continues today. Apparently he was only able to make it uh, to right around Thunder Bay. So we're near Thunder Bay right now. I believe we're about 10 kilometers from Thunder Bay. Anyway, it's quite amazing. Saskatchewan, the van, Dexter, we're, we're here. Yeah, we have a lot of bugs in the van. We've done about 10,000, 12,000 kilometers now, I think. Uh, we'll go wash the van here soon. where the journey starts guys we've made it to Alberta um, we're just looking at the sign right now so it's pretty neat I don't know it's kind of honestly crazy to imagine that we've even made it this far because literally nine days ago we boarded a ferry from nine Newfoundland days? to Labrador nine oh. days is it not nine days ago today's Sunday and we got on the ferry on Friday of last week yeah that's nine days so. so it doesn't feel like that long. It's crazy to think that we were literally as far east on the east coast ten days ago and now we're here. It's pretty cool though. So this is kind of where our real adventure is gonna start with you guys. Um, we did film kind of coming across the country. Honestly we didn't stop at a whole lot. We visited some friends uh, across Ontario, some family as well. And uh, our goal was to just like come out here though. We've I went to school in Ontario and we lived there one summer, so we've kind of toured around there already. But neither of us have been out west for an extended period of time. So. This is it. This is it. Personally, I've never been um, farther west than a couple hours, uh, I guess, northwest of Toronto. So, and that was the summer that we lived there. Yeah. So, we hit Manitoba. That was definitely the farthest west I've ever been. And we went farther, we hit Saskatchewan. And now, now we're in we're Alberta. In Alberta. So we're gonna stay in Alberta for a bit. We are gonna go out to British Columbia as well. Uh, we have to see the Pacific Ocean. I have to swim in it. We were supposed to live in Victoria last summer, um, but that was when COVID was really bad and we never ended up going. So we have to get out there as well. Yeah, so it's gonna be a fun trip though. And I was born out west. I haven't been back since I moved when I was four, I think. So we, uh, we hope you guys enjoy the adventure um, as much as we do. This is honestly really, really fun. We're both loving this experience. It's a lot of fun. Um, couldn't be happier that we're doing this, honestly. So. No, it's worked out really well. It has. Vans worked out really well. We haven't killed each other yet. We're making it work. You know what, we're really excited. Once we hit Alberta here, we're gonna slow down quite a bit, see the Rockies, and uh, probably just kinda enjoy life a little bit more than we have recently, just because, I mean, the last five days we've been driving for eight hours a day. Yeah. And uh, that's not exactly fun. 
So this afternoon we should be in... We're going to go to Medicine Hat and stop for so a bit. We're going to do some real van life living and do some laundry and try to find some showers and uh, fill up our water tank, fill up the water clean tank, clean the van, it's gross right now. <laughs> um, let's hit Medicine Hat. All right, guys, we're in Medicine Hat. Um, probably can't see much, but the window curtains are all up. We're in the van. It is a brisk 32 degrees outside right now. So uh, we're trying to keep the van as cool as we can. And the one really big thing that we can do to help do that is closing all the windows as far as keeping the sunlight out. So anyway, we are now parked outside the laundromat. We are gonna do some laundry. Wow, there's a lot of laundry. Yeah. All right. Let's get this sorted out. We just finished watching, watching. We watched it? <laughs> we just finished watching the van and it's hot. Like It's very warm. So it's uh, van saying 21 degrees outside, but that's lying because we just washed the van. That's probably the temperature of the water. So we're not really sure where we're gonna stay tonight. We've looked on iOverlander. Um, there's really no amazing options right near where we are. Uh, we could pay to camp. So, oh. um, yeah, I'm not really sure where we're gonna go. We're not gonna do, I don't think, anything too, too crazy tonight. Um, tonight's gonna be more so just, let's try to find some space to hang some laundry. Hopefully somewhere we can kind of make a clothesline. We do have some rope to do so, we just need a space to do it. So, time to get creative. Yeah, let's go. All right guys, another quick little update. Um, we had mentioned we might not stay in the campground tonight. Turns out we're gonna. Uh, honestly, just the logistics of trying to dry out all this laundry. Like, we've got that bag right there. That's full of, it's clean laundry. Same with the other bag to the right over there. So there's two bags of clean but wet laundry. So not everything we have can go in the dryer. So that's, that's where we're at. We have to find a spot to dry our laundry. So I think we're gonna try to Get a spot here, potentially uh, make a little clothesline just between the van and a tree, or if we have multiple trees on our site, between two trees. So that way we can get all our laundry dried, fill up with water here as well, and then we can go full uh, backcountry kind of off the grid camping. So we're excited. We're finally here in Alberta. The road trip is done. We've kind of hit the reset button as far as our laundry and everything goes. So. Adventure is about to begin. Morning guys. It is 7.30 in the morning and we're gonna get a nice bike ride in before we have to leave this campground. So we're in Medicine Hat, we got our laundry all dried out last night and apparently there's like five or six kilometers of paved path just outside the van here. We've been told that there's a nice swimming hole towards the end of this trail. Um, so anyway, that's beside the fact. We'll, uh, we'll catch up with you guys on the trail. biking and I was behind Nick because it's long and this snake jumped out like almost trying to attack his tires. You didn't even notice. But that's like a pretty big snake. Like, we don't have snakes like that in Nova Scotia. So anyway. So 
that was interesting. We're just biking down this path, just over there towards the cars, and all of a sudden this goose started chasing us. <laughs> and he's not leaving us alone. We literally, we so, turned around and biked, probably like, I don't know, 100, 200 feet. The goose was kind of like running after us. flying after us. Flew. Yeah. So, so now, I'm not sure if he has babies. I don't think it's baby time, but he's very protective and he will not let us walk away without following. <laughs> Sir, please leave. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? I seriously don't know. Well, let's just keep walking. We'll see if he's satisfied with that. Trot along. What is going on? Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh no. So I'm way back here. Nick and the goose are way over there. He just biked away and the goose literally just flew after him. So I'm not quite sure what the game plan is. And um, yeah, we're currently being barricaded by a goose. <laughs> and there's snakes over here. Anyway, um, let's hope it all goes well. I can't see Nick or the goose anymore. Oh, there's Nick. Nick, go quick! <laughs> oh my gosh, the goose is running behind him. I know you can't see. I'm on. I'm filming on my phone. Oh. We escaped the goose. I am sincerely out of breath right now. That goose followed me back to the pond. Yeah. I almost went in the bathrooms at the pond. Because <laughs> he was like outside. <laughs> Side was squawking at me. That was weird. That was really weird. Anyway, he didn't follow us back here, so we're good now. Let's keep going then. Holy smokes. No more animal encounters. Okay. <laughs>